Now, you guys might be wondering why I chose Marvel after The Walking Dead. It's because Marvel is a very popular series in of itself. And with how popular one of my Walking Dead videos is, Negan meets the governor, reaching over 1,400 views and 50 likes. Oh my god, thank you guys so much. You don't know how much I appreciate that. I figured we'd look into one of the most popular movie series of all time, and that being Marvel. So, without further ado, let's dive in, shall we? What if is what if Tony Stark didn't become Iron Man? Well, first off, he would die in the cave with Jensen because let's be honest, he would not want to make the uh, technology for them guys and everything else. And yeah, it would basically just be him dying with Jensen. So, with Iron Man, I mean Tony Stark dead. As for Obadiah, to the public, it might seem like he is just distraught over this, but we all know that he would be reveling and happy in the hearing of Tony Stark's departure. He would take over Stark Industries and sell its property to bad people like he was going to in the original and kind of did. Now, not approached about Avengers... But Nick Fury would still have the idea about joining together a team to stop all the bad crap going down in the world. Whiplash is never relevant and never does anything. Moving on. Killian would still want to practice and work around with the extremist formula and probably even get Obadiah to be on board with it. The two would complete it and use it efficiently, making more bad crap happen in the world. Loki invades? Basically... New York is doomed. No one would be able to lift the nuke into the atmosphere, and basically New York would be obliterated in the crossfire. Loki also probably dead along with half the army. Now, here's a very important thing. He and his forces would get the Tesseract much earlier, and they would he would probably start his collection of the stones earlier. Thus, he would do the snap and erase half the universe's population. Now, you think there's a business world? Well, here's the, here's the worst part. With no Doctor Strange, Dormammu would basically eat the universe. So, bye-bye universe. And basically, yeah, that would be the end of the story. Tony Stark was basically needed to become Iron Man. Iron Man was probably one of the most vital, if not most vital, Avenger in all of the MCU. Like him getting into Iron Man was probably, like, th that basically, if that didn't occur, the universe would be doomed. Because Iron Man knew how to fly, he had all these extra powers that many of the Avengers besides Thor would never be able to freaking accomplish. And without him, the world would be done. No matter what. No matter if we still had the Hulk, no matter if we still had Captain America, Thor, it would not make a difference because the universe would be gone. So yeah, basically in summation, Iron Man was needed for the universe to live, basically. I get that he still died and the universe is still around, but that was, like, many of those threats that come now in the MCU and the new movies and shows and everything else, they're just lackluster and they don't even, like, last that long. It's like the Avengers now can take care of it and there are not that many. So, yeah. Basically, in summary, Iron Man needed to be in the MCU. Yep, and that's where we leave things, folks. So, what do you guys think of my first MCU or Marvel what if? Do you think that this is exactly how things could have gone down had Tony Stark not become Iron Man? Or do you think something else could have happened that could have either helped or destroyed the world? Let me know in the comments. Put a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys next time.